Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing great. Today we begin a new unit and I'm very excited about that. So first we're gonna begin talking about one of the main concepts of this unit and that is change. What is change? Change is when something goes from one state to the other. It's important to understand that change is universal and inevitable. That means that sometimes you cannot stop it. What do you think of when you think about change? I, for example, like to think of the cocoon when it goes to being a butterfly. And I also like to think about how colors change when we mix them together. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about a period of time where the world changed a lot. It's called the Renaissance and it occurred mainly in Europe. Renaissance means rebirth, which translates to Renacimiento. So the name itself uh, tells us about change. It's basically the name we give to the time where people went from the Middle Ages to modernity. So the Renaissance changed society as a whole, but it also changed art a lot. And there are many artists that we know from the Renaissance. The most famous artists that we know from the Renaissance were called Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. Do those names sound familiar? <laughs> That's because those are the names of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. They were named after these four Italian Renaissance artists. So even though the Renaissance occurred mainly in Europe, the change that occurred in art affected the whole world of art. And today we're going to talk specifically about Leonardo da Vinci. As I said, Leonardo da Vinci was from Italy. And you may know him because he was the painter who created the famous Mona Lisa, which is arguably the most famous painting or artwork in the whole world. So Leonardo da Vinci is very well known as an artist. He was an amazing painter. Take a look at this paintings that he made. But he was also a scientist and he was also an inventor. He loved to investigate, discover new things, and generally just um, explore how the world works. So now I'm going to show you a few of his inventions. So this is the self-propelled cart. It was made to transport things and it even had brakes. It wasn't very understood uh, when he made it, but later on people discovered that it actually worked. They built it like a working model based on his design. And it surprised them to discover that it actually worked. The Robot Knight. This was designed for a pageant, like a party. And it consisted of an armor that inside had this structure with ropes and gears to make it move. Again, someone tried to do it and build a prototype, which was able to walk and wave. And last but not least, Leonardo's most famous invention, the flying machine, also known as the ornithopter. This machine displays his powers of observation and imagination. So as you can see, it had big, big wings and the pilot would have to pedal a crank. What is a pedal? A pedal is like a, what's on a bicycle so you can impulse yourself. Unfortunately, while the flying machine may have flown once it was in the air, a person could never have created enough power to get the device off the ground. Okay guys, so what are you going to do today? Today you're going to create your own invention. That means that you have to think of something that hasn't been created. So you're going to make a drawing of your invention and you're going to color it. Um, remember to take a photo and send it to me. You can do that by email or through Google Classroom. And make sure to keep the drawing safe because you're going to need that drawing with Sarai. Okay? So let's talk about inventions. What would you like to create that hasn't been created already? 
You could do something to have fun. You could do something to travel. You can do something to put in our houses and make our lives easier. So what can you think of? Okay, guys, that's it. Remember that if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'm here to help you. You can contact me or send me your drawings to my email or through Google Classroom or Hangouts, whichever works best for you. Okay, guys, that's it. Bye-bye. Take care.